What's up, people? Welcome to The Collecting News. As always, I'm George, and this is the show where we talk about statues and collectibles that we found throughout the week and put it all in a fun and condensed format for you guys. As always, I have with me my brother, John. Hey, guys. Sitting there ready for the, all the Facebook chatting that we got going on. Keep <laughs> chatting. <laughs> all right, so what's new, man? What's going on? How you doing? Uh, man, it's just been a busy week, uh, more or less for work. Kind of boring stuff to talk about, but uh, we've been doing a lot with the, with the website. I know we have... Um, you know that's continued to grow, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, other than that, man, it's just I'm happy. It's December, it's Christmas time. You know, yeah. we got Star Wars: uh, Last Jedi coming out in a couple yeah. weeks, so that's uh, I'm happy for that. Exciting. Yeah. Um, other than that, I know we got a lot of uh, statues, that, uh, statue news that came out. We got Tokyo Comic Con. Yep. Um, that so we got a lot of images there, and then obviously all the pre-orders and some cool customs that came out. So definitely excited to see what you got to say. Yeah, we do have a lot going on. Um, this week, uh, in Marvelous News, uh, we had a couple of new episodes. Uh, we had the unboxing of the Marvel vs. Capcom Wolverine. Uh, this was sculpted by Eric Sosa. Uh, see here right next to me. Uh, love this piece. This thing is fantastic. They did an amazing job with it. Uh, Eric, you know, he's, he's, a ma he's a master sculptor, man. That guy does some great work. Um, and then, uh, other than that, we uh, introduced a new show. Uh, it's called Off The Reel. Uh, it's a show that focuses on uh, movie reviews, um, trailer reviews, TV show reviews, uh, things like that. Uh, we had our first episode, I think it was Wednesday. Uh, pretty fun episode. Uh, I laughed my ass off in it. It was, uh, it was actually a great time. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I suggest you guys uh, to go by our, our website and check it out. Um, we are going to have more shows like that. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. So definitely, definitely cool. Um, but other than that, like John said, we have a lot to discuss. Uh, so, you know, without further ado, let's break into the news. So let's see what we got going on. All right, pre-orders. So at the beginning of this week, the uh, pre-order for the Figurama Collectors Vash Trigun 20th Anniversary Statue uh, released. Uh, this was December 1st. Uh, this is a fantastic piece. I, I can't say anything more about it. I mean, I, I've, uh, I grew up watching this. Um, you know, several several years in my youth. It's 20 years now. I can't even believe how, how long it's been. Uh, great show. And I really enjoyed it. Um, the sculpt is very dynamic. Very fantastic. Uh, they, they went above and beyond, I think, on this piece. Yeah, I love the bang on that gun. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, it looks like it's in, like, a bullet time. You know, so I think they did a great job. Looks very much like the character from the, uh, from the cartoon. Um... Really, really digging the way that the clothes have all those bullet shots going through them. You know, he's getting, he's right in the midst of all the action. Yeah. Yeah, it's really neat. So, uh, this piece only has an addition size of between 250 and 400. What they're doing is that they're starting the minimum addition size to be uh, 250, and uh, the max is going to be 400. Once it reaches 400, they're going to stop taking pre orders, and that's going to be it. Uh, right now, they have made it up to 65%. Uh, already sold so they they're almost sold out so definitely move on that the statue is 21 and a half inches tall it comes with this commemorative badge with a uh, stand-up plaque so I think that's really cool the head sculpt is being redesigned a little bit they want to give us something that's a little bit more based on the anime which I think that's fantastic this one looks really nice looks very much like the cartoon much more than the original so you know, nice stuff. Uh, if you're looking to get this one, the statue runs $755. Uh, we can give you a $30 off coupon. If you go to buy this, just type in, in the coupon code MCE Trigon. So definitely check that out. It's due for release July 30th, 2018. They actually have a specific date when this one's supposed to come out. <laughs> right after my birthday, man. Yeah. It works. It works. Yeah. All right. The other one to release was the Connecticut's brother battle of the brothers oh yeah you know this is one of our favorite pieces we got this one we got this one. yeah uh this is ryu they also had a combo pack with ken so really cool both sets are 300 edition size for each so it's 300 ryu and then 300 for the ken and ryu together ken originally released earlier i think last year or earlier this year it's been some time since he's been out um now the, that one is sold out, so this is your last chance to get the combo pack together. Although now I've heard that this is sold out as well. 
Mm-hmm. So we got into it. <laughs> yeah, we got into it. We just got right under the under the gun with that one. I love this particular statue, bro, or, or diorama myself, bro. I think it's um, honestly for the pure fact that they have the interchangeable um, characters, not just these two, but you know, with the uh, Kuma and, and Goken. Goken yeah. I, I just you know absolutely found this to be a, an amazing statue. What's cool is that the Goken and the Akuma can side together as a diorama by themselves. Yeah. So then you can take and interchange them. And you can you do know, a three, a three piece, a three one, piece too, right? one too. Yeah. So I think it's really cool. So people had some issues with the face. I personally think it looks fine. It doesn't look identical to the uh, to the cartoon or to the video game, but I'm okay with that. You know, I, I've always liked variations. You know, that things look nice. So this one's due for release in the second quarter of 2018. Like I said, the diorama is sold out, so you can only get Ryu. And you can get Ken uh, via Big Bad Toy Store. I know they still have one on sale there. Ryu is running $399. And then this is an amazing piece that I saw at the San Diego Comic-Con in July. This is the Way to Workshop's Master Collection Gollum. Now this is a one-third scale statue. It's a very amazing piece. The resin on the skin is actually a translucent material, which makes it look more realistic. You know, when, when you see this thing in person, it looks like real skin, even though it's sculpted. Each individual hair on his head is hand placed in there. So, you know, it must have been a tedious process. I can't imagine how long that took. The water in the base is a clear resin. So it gives it the effect of the water, which I think is also very nice. Mm-hmm. Love the skull here of the orc, I think is what that is in the in the uh, stone there, which I think is really cool. Yeah, man. Ooh, he's he got precious. the ring. Yeah, you know, he <laughs> lost it. So I think that's really cool as well. Yeah. The eyes are a new high tech type of glass material. Uh, they didn't say exactly what it was. It just said it was new tech eyes is what they what they have it written as. So, but it, when you look at it, it almost seems like the eyes are following you as you're walking. So it is walking around it. So it has a very creepy appearance to it which i think is just amazing you know they, they did an amazing job with this piece it's it's fantastic definitely is a work of art yeah you know, it is a little bit pricey this one runs uh 17.99 for this guy but you know I, I think it's worth it um it has an addition size of 589 now the reason why they chose 589 mm-hmm. is because it's for every day that Gollum, every year that Gollum was alive in Middle uh, Earth. That's pretty cool. So I think that's really neat uh, to commemorate that. So I think it's pretty good. Very neat piece. I I would be. Uh, can you go back one time? Sure. Uh, I thought it would have been cool if they had in the you know the water puddles you were showing. If they showed a uh, uh, like dents in the in the water, like as if they had a um, what's his name the uh, shoot uh, the Hobbit um, like. Or when what's the name is about to steal the ring, but I guess here if he, he had the ring, I guess it would. Oh, been. you okay? Never mind. Does it make sense? It does. I just yeah, thought it doesn't about, make just any sense. It doesn't make any sense. He doesn't have. <laughs> I the see ring. what you were talking about. Oh, ah man, I feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I do see where you were going with that. that Onto Hellscream. Onto Hellscream. Right. <laughs> and this is the Grom Hellscream by Damn Toys. Now Grom Hellscream is my favorite character from the Warcraft series. This is based on the Warcraft movie. I felt that he was not utilized too well in the movie, although I did enjoy the movie. Grom Hellscream is the leader of the Warsong clan. He is the killer of the uh, Monorth of the Destructor Demon. And he holds in his hand uh, the axe Gro- uh, Gor- Gorhal. Sorry, I almost pronounced that wrong. So I, he has a lot of lore behind him. I really dig this character. I really love the details that they went in on this. It looks identical to what I remember seeing from the movie. Just fantastic sculpt. And it has mixed uh, media in it so you have fur you know have some real leather in there uh and um and and, and uh, what is, what's the word i'm looking for clothing um material material uh I'm trying to think of it yeah ah, whatever this is my thought. you know what i mean close yeah. <laughs> this is my train of thought there so i really love the way they did the tattoos on the skin you know he's just a fantastic piece he's huge this thing's almost 30 inches tall i'm no loving one. all those warcraft pieces so far bro they did an awesome job mm-hmm. on him very very nice work you know they even got in all the little you know worn areas into the axe you know give it the the idea that he's been in battle you know which is perfect you know look at, look at the way they did the skull you know it looks, looks amazing the green and everything it's just it's just an amazing piece there's no addition size on this uh he's running 1460 Ooh. so you know he does yeah, have a big price tag to him but he's a big piece so you know 
This one's due out for release in between July and September of 2018. All right. And then here we got Howard the Duck. Now, this is Howard the Duck based on the Marvel uh, Contest of Champions video game. Now, I used to play this video game before we actually started doing the show. Mm -hmm. I was very religious in playing this game. And after I started doing the show, I found it very difficult to continue to play it on my iPhone. It was, <laughs> it was very hard to continue playing. I actually got kicked out of my clan. So... I was uh, out of your clan. That's hilarious. It is, man. They I felt bad. They, they kicked, kicked me out. out. I was a good player. You know, I was, I was a very good player. You know, they kicked me out. They told me that you know I don't have commitment. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, man. You better be committed to those groups on those games. I'm saying so. I like this piece though, man. I, did, I really dig the way the armor looks, and he's he's a cool character in the in the video game. He does some really goofy moves. So this one's running fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents, and it's due out for release this month, so December of this year. So look for that if you're into these pop figures. All right. This one here is a Diamond Select Marvel Premiere Edition cable. This one was sculpted by Jean St. John. It's an awesome looking piece. I really do like these Diamond Select Marvel Premiere statues. There is a lot of detail to them. This is not just your regular Diamond Select statues that are, I think they're mostly made of PVC. This one here, they're actually a resin material. They have a little bit of weight to them. This one has an edition size of 3,000. And it's on Big Bad Toy Store for sale at $134.99. So it's a little bit of a discount. It's due for release between in, in May of 2018. So look for that there. I think I think they did a good job on this one though. This one is the more comic book version of Cable, you know, compared to what we've seen with uh, XM Studios. It has a little more realistic appearance. This one has the more comic feel. So I like that. Very neat. Yeah, I think it's a uh, uh, pretty cool. Um, but do you like it better than your other one? No, this one's smaller. Mm. So, you know, I'm not saying that I like it better than the other one. I like this one because it has the more comic appearance to it. The other one has a little more of a realistic. XM Studios gave us a, a variation of Cable, mm. which I think is a nice piece. To me, it's still my favorite. This one here is also a very good piece, and it works if you're into a smaller scale piece. If you don't have the space for something that big and you want a Cable statue, this will work. Okay. Know? So okay, that's, I, see that's that. I see your point. Yeah, so it's neat. All right. Now, this is uh, Imaginarium Arts Rodimus Prime. Now, I know Imaginarium Arts has been having a little bit of a rough patch. They're, they're getting a lot of bad rap lately over some uh, issues they're having getting out their orders. And I think that they have some people's uh, pre-orders. There's uh, or the money for the pre-orders. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely something not that good. Um, but, you know, in the, in the uh, spirit of the art... I really enjoy this piece. It reminds me of my childhood. That's that's why I have this up here today. It uh, reminds me of the Transformers movie. You know, I can hear my buddy Seth singing the song to me right now. And dude, if he was here, he would be like, you got the touch. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it's an awesome piece, man. Uh, it definitely, they, they did a great job. What I like about Imaginary Mart's uh, sculpts, at least for the, these Transformers, is that they, they look just like the cartoon version of it this is not the movie version i prefer the generation one transformers yeah so i don't know man i like the, the megatron version now more you like the new megatron versus yeah, the I do. no i do man that's I a do. fail i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> oh man no the other one the other one is 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 like it, it almost looks like he had well it's like because like he-man i guess was really popular so i feel like they had his his uh face looking like the little he-man you know, girl haircut. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. He has the, the I know what you're talking about like there. The bob. He has the bob action going yeah. on, bro. And I, I, I guess that was the look back then, but. Yeah. I don't it. know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not knocking him down completely for the for the Bayformers, but, mm -hmm. you know, still. This one stands uh, 31 and a half inches tall. It's a poly resin piece. It, there are some interchangeable parts. You get the matrix of leadership that he can have him holding, or you have him holding a rifle. He's running $1,199, so another pricey piece. Uh, this one is due the first quarter of 2018, so it's going to be coming out here very soon. Uh, so, you know, look for that if you're into Transformers. Nice. Yeah. And then here we got the Sideshow Silk statue. This is part of the Mark Brooks collection. Mark mm -hmm. Brooks. I almost said that wrong. This is part of the Spider-Verse. So... This character here, she was built. She was bit by the exact same spider that bit Spider-Man, Peter Parker. So she has a connection to Spider-Man, and I think in the comics they have a romantic relationship. Now, I, I really like the way this piece came out. You know, I really dig that. You know, she's sitting there on the light post. It matches very well with Spider-Gwen. 
so I think that's really cool. The the pose is nice, and I like that she's shooting out the spider uh, webbing. You know, the only thing I'm not understanding here is that if she's shooting it out, how is it coming around her wrist like this? You know, I don't I don't get that. It's like where did that come off from? But I do dig the art behind it. It gives it kind of like a dynamic feel. She's so. She's uh, talented with her web slinging, bro. I guess, you know. She's good with it. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Very nice texture work in this one. Like, look at the bottom of the soles. You know, they didn't have to go that far in uh, with that. And, you know, Sideshow went above and beyond. So I think that looks really cool. Very nice mm -hmm. looking paint job on this. It's very nice. Very, very pretty work. So they even got the S on her chest. And that does not stand for hope. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <sound> hope. <laughs> Do -do <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, one of the other things about this piece that I'm not really big fan of is the exclusive is a mass portrait. Now, you know, these are superheroes. You know, the superheroes, they wear their masks when they go out and fight crime. So, I feel like the regular edition should be the mass portrait and the unmasked portrait should be the exclusive if that's what you want to do. I don't like that we got to go and now definitely buy the exclusive if we want to get this mask. So, that's not uh, really cool in my, my opinion, but... I do like the mask, I like the texture work that they have around it. You know, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. very nice work. This one's running four hundred and twenty-five dollars. It's a one-fifth scale piece, so not too bad on that price. And it's due between September and November of two thousand eighteen. And that is all the pre-orders that we have to talk about. There were a lot more pre-orders that came out this week. Bunches. Bunch. If you're looking for these pre-orders, you're going to find them on our um, MCE Central website. Don't forget about crosshairs. You know, we have, yeah. You just talk Transformers and you skipped crosshairs. Oh, well, I said, I, I'm picking out the ones that I like. I do not <laughs> like those Bayformers. Ah, oh, man, I like crosshairs. Hey, man, you know, I don't I don't care for those Bayformers. I didn't care for the Prime 1 uh, Cyborg statue. Time, so, <laughs> if you do like crosshairs and you do like Cyborg, they are on the MCE Central website. You can go there and you can pick that up. And you can also go to our Facebook shop. We have them there too. A bunch of other pre orders there as well. We have some new art prints that I saw. And, um, some more pop figure stuff if you're looking for more pop figures we have we have a lot more going on there i think they had some like lord of the rings pieces that came out this week too so really neat all right so let's move on to announcements announcements all right biggest announcement this coming saturday december 9th is going to be the open registration for san diego comic-con 2018 so if you're interested in going to this event you have to have already have gotten a member id if you haven't done so already, I suggest you go there now. They said that they can close that at any time. I'm not really sure if they've already have closed it. They could do that without any kind of warning. So if you're interested in going to this, make sure you get a member ID first. Then when open registration comes out, you can come with us and join the mosh that's going to be taking and trying to get tickets to the event because I heard it's going to be damn near impossible to get tickets. So it starts at 9 a.m. Saturday, December 9th. Make sure you're there and hopefully you guys can get tickets. Hopefully we'll get tickets. Because I really want to go again. Yes, sir. So, all right. This weekend is the last chance for the Bowser statue from First for Figures. Uh oh, two more days, guys. Yeah. You know, I, I like this piece. It's it's definitely a callback to the Mario Brothers. It's a Mario. You know, they, it's it's an awesome piece. They did a great job with it. You know, they, I love that the flames. Have you, have you seen the video on the flames? The flames on the mouth, it has like a and a certain effect to the light it's not just like the lights turn on and off it has kind of like a rolling effect to it, it gives oh, it like man. a nice fire. fire yeah they did an awesome job on this those guys really pump out these video game pieces really nicely so this one's running six hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents again you only have a couple more days to get it so if you're really into this piece make sure you go to first for figures and pick that one up and then moving on with more first for figure news they announced on their 35k reveal that they're going to be doing characters for banjo kazooie and conquer hmm Cool. So, I honestly, I have never played either one of these games. I had to look them up because I wanted to write a article about them and, you know, help uh, let you guys know what these things are. So, Banjo-Kazooie is a video game about a bear and a bird who are trying to uh, thwart the evil plans of some witch. So, that's, that's that character. And then the Conquer character is a squirrel. So, uh, and the funny thing about Conquer, this is the one that... Uh, that I'm actually interested to see how First of Figures is going to go with this is because Conquer was originally a video game for kids, you know? Yeah. So it was geared towards that. Very childlike, very like Sonic the Hedgehog, Mario Brothers type of thing, I did you know? Sonic. And then in the uh, sequels, they started to go more dark. 
started to add more elements like you know violence blood sexual innuendos things like that so i think that's kind of funny and very interesting especially when you see the character because the character looks so innocent mm -hmm. so I, I gotta wonder you know makes me after i read that i, I kind of want to play it and see what exactly that was all about so you know that's going to be coming interested to see what they got to do with that all right and this is pop culture shock second tease for their raiden statue this one's going to be coming up for pre-order i think december 11th is what i read so you know they're doing some really nice work that hat looks amazing that texture work on the hat looks fantastic you know and then into the shirt same thing very nice texture work really really pops so really excited to see what they do with that mortal kombat was one of my favorite games one of my favorite fighting games back in the day so can't wait to see more on this guy all right and then hot toys revealed that they got the license for the matrix and when i saw this i was like yes mm -hmm. they got the matrix and it can only be one it can only be one right then i saw this and i was like what is this <laughs> that's what i said my brother told me he was like people were complaining about the portrait and i'm looking at this and i'm like hell yeah they're complaining about the portrait but they like the the bodies though they said the bodies were on point the bodies were on point but the body's mostly clothed <laughs> that's why you know i mean <laughs> so they got the outfit right you know i mean neo doesn't look too bad especially with the glasses doesn't look too bad i could dig that but come on agent smith i mean that don't look like him yeah I guess I mean, you're right it does not look like him you know i don't know who that is but you know hey if you're into the matrix you know here, here's your opportunity to get some people who don't look like the characters from matrix so <laughs> yeah but really cool. I like the idea that they're doing stuff in the Matrix, though. Yeah, me too, man. They can get a um, get Trinity and the Trinity action going. That would be pretty cool. I would get a Morpheus, man. Morpheus, They, they need to get that Lawrence Fishburne prose yeah. or, or a portrait down. Yeah, that. You know? I would get him and Neil, you know? Neo, yeah. And then I'd put a spoon between them. Like, I know Kung Fu. <laughs> oh, very cool. All right. And then this was announced earlier in the week, but... You know, it was supposed to, I, I thought that it was supposed to be part of Tokyo Comic Con and they were going to actually show something about it. This is the Lobo statue sculpted by Ramel Chopra. This thing, I love this piece. I love the way this thing looks right here, you know, and I can't wait to see the entire thing. You know, I've been hearing such good things about what this thing is going to look like, you know, and I, I just can't wait. Lobo is one of my favorite DC characters for anti heroes, you know, he's a really cool character. And he just, this sculpt looks fantastic. I mean, I like the way he's biting his lower lip there. He's a wild character, and, it, you know, he did a nice job making him look feral. So I guess we have to wait a few more weeks, you know, before we actually get the full review. Or maybe at the end of the weekend, you know, it's Saturday. Tokyo Comic Con is still going on until Sunday. So maybe mm -hmm. tomorrow they'll show us. But right now, we're just patiently waiting. So cool stuff, though. All right, and this is the first picture that we have of the Batman Batman Who Laughs. This is a part of their Dark Knight Metal uh, series. This is one of the Robins. This is some evil looking shit, man. I, I just, I think this thing looks awesome, bro. And what, I, what I'm digging about it is, is that this is something original and new. You know, I haven't really seen this. I know it's based on a comic. This is the first time I'm actually getting a chance to look at these things. They did a video for it so you guys can see. That's some creepy. Thing. That's a creepy it's creepy, statue, bro. Oh, man, but I like it. I know, man. You know, you know, Joker has. It's the, it killing, like, the killing knife, right? It's called the uh, Batman Who Laughs. Mm. So. The, it, it, it almost seems like Joker has won, you know, and we got them on some kind of Joker gas. They look, you know, maniacal and crazy. You know, they just came out of Arkham Asylum or something. It just looks wild. Really like the way that base looks. Very, very neat. You know, and Batman there with the blood oozing out of his mouth. It just, mm -hmm. This looks like something out of a, a Robert Rodriguez, I think it's what it is. Robert Rodriguez or... No, Guillermo del Toro. That, that's, that's who this, this stuff kind of looks like. You know, Guillermo del Toro has a, a very unique creature style you know so yeah. i feel like this can definitely fit in that kind of universe so definitely not cool that. you know or you know the other thing that reminds me of is the darkness you know with the with the way the robins are it almost looks like the minions so i think that's really neat too so this is definitely a nice piece from prime one studios very cool and here is the batman who laughs <laughs> very cool all right and this is at tokyo comic-con they revealed the entire justice league there so this is them in all their glory. I'm, I'm okay with these pieces. I'm not necessarily digging them that much. I mean, they did a good job with the likenesses. I'm not going to say that they didn't. I'm just not really big on the movie pieces. Of these, I like Batman the most. And I like the way Aquaman looks. Uh, the Superman texture on the suit, I think, is really neat. 
Um, Wonder Woman, I'm okay with. I really wouldn't say much about uh, about that. I think she looked kind of skinny. Um, and then the the uh, cyborg is kind of neat. So, eh, I'm alright with this. If you're into movie pieces, one of the biggest things that I, that, that I get bummed about when I see the movie pieces is that I feel like they don't capture the life of the character that well. You know, they always look like they're kind of lifeless. Uh, so, I don't know. But I mean, I mean, as an overall uh, set, I think if you like the statue poses, I think it's a pretty cool um, uh, overall set. Yeah, Obviously, it could be pricey, but of of movie piece, I'm glad they didn't go with complete uh, museum style. I'm mm-hmm. glad they didn't go completely that way. So at least they did that. I just I always feel like they don't. You know, it's hard to capture the life in in a, in a statue. You know, I think it's better if they if they do something that it has a pose. It's a little more dynamic. You know, it gives us a little more feel of the character. So, you know, but, you know, if you're into this, it's, it's not that bad. It's not, not that bad at all. So this is the Dark Knight Rises uh, series from Primal Studios also. Again, the same thing I feel with the Justice League. I'm not really into these movie pieces. Although the detail on this outfit is, is insane. This looks just like what it came out of the movie. Yeah, it does. He did a good job on it. You know, but again, you know, he's just he's standing there. So I, I feel like they could have done a little bit more. And I don't like cloth capes. <laughs> No capes. Yeah. No cloth for you. No cloth for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm all right with Catwoman. I don't think Catwoman's done that. I, I, I don't really... The portrait, I think, is not all there. You know? The pose is awesome. Yeah, I, I still like that XM one better. Yeah, well, that's an original version. This is this is the movie version, so... It's like comparing apples to oranges. I'm not gonna... But it's not that bad. Did they make one on a bike, though? That's different. The one on the bike is is based on the Batman Samurai. Okay. So it's it's a different series. Never mind that. School me, George. School yeah, me. Got to man. You know. So this one's amazing. I love this piece. This is the Batman Ninja. I don't know if you guys have seen the Batman Ninja uh, trailer. Yeah, man. That thing is awesome. I am gonna watch that. That looks yeah. really cool. That's this is a pretty cool statue. Yeah. It is, man. I mean. It's it's different. It's a new new take on him. I really like the idea that they're you know I don't know if you saw the trailer. They they show Joker and Batman going at it with like samurai swords on a rooftop and it just looks sick. So in in this series, Batman is warped back into medieval Japan and he there he you know he's he has to do his Batman stuff afterwards. You know Joker's there and you know he has to thwart Joker like always. <laughs> so you know really digging the way they have this gargoyle with the Joker looking face. I think mm-hmm. it looks awesome. And I like that they went with that gold color, you know, because it pops against that that uh, stone yeah. accents there. This was something that I felt was missing in the XM Studios pieces because they the base on that one was uh, very muted all the way around. Even though I love that piece, very muted. It was you know so to get more detail, get more color that makes it pop. But I think it's very nice. Really digging the way the outfit looks here. You know, it just it has a very vibrance to it. You know. Yeah, definitely, it's very cool. Neat. I like I like I, it. Love I like that background sculpted cape. Absolutely sculpted cape. I like that background <laughs> where the uh, uh, like when you saw in the previous image, you say, yeah, like that yeah. looks that just like that's how you had it sitting in your house. That looks awesome, yeah. like that. That right, looks neat. Looks like a shrine. Um, any idea on that price though? On this one? Yeah, or is it no, too they soon haven't right said now? it. Yeah, I think these are just all the all the images from Tokyo Comic Con. Right? Tokyo, yeah, yeah. I'm all, and again, there's a lot more that's out there at Tokyo right now, but I'm, I'm picking out the ones that I feel are, are in my opinion ones that I enjoy. Mm-hmm. So, This one here is the Space Marine. This is for out of the Warhammer 4K series. Awesome looking piece. You know, this one looks like it came out of the grittiness of that game. They did a great job with that. The crimson red and the gold, you know, really pops. Mm-hmm. You know, and I love the way it just looks like it's been through war. I mean, look at all the dents and everything in the armor. Awesome, awesome work. It's great mm-hmm. stuff. So this is a companion piece for the Gabriel An- Angelos. Um, so, oh, okay. You know, I, I, I dig it, man. It really fits in. It definitely definitely works with that. The armor is identical. I'm going to get to that here in a minute. Nice. I don't want to say identical, but it matching colors. So here you go. Yeah, there you go. You know, so obviously Gabriel is a lot bigger. <laughs> hammer, bro. You know, and he's got that hammer. Mm-hmm. So I like that the bases match up, you know, so that gives you a set there. It makes you feel like you get a full collection, you know, which I think is really cool. Yeah, too. Like they're about to go into battle, like. Yeah, like what you say about my mama. <laughs> and he's got that gun and the and the hammer. I don't know what that thing is like a sword of some sort, vibro sword. I don't know, but the hammer is amazing. Mm-hmm. Really cool piece. I dig it. All right. Yeah. 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 
There you go. Batman Hush. I like the Batman Hush series. Now, I, I am this for me, Batman Hush is without a doubt my favorite Batman comic series. You know, I know other people would say the Killing Joke is the best one. You know, some people like the the Court of the of the Owls. I really, really, really like the Hush series. I, I picked that one up. I was on vacation at Disney when I read that thing, and I, you know, I couldn't stop reading it. And well, I was like almost looking forward to going back to the hotel and actually reading the comic book versus being on the right. <laughs> I mean, that's how good the story is, bro. Yeah, it is good. So, that being said, I, I think them out. they did a, they did an awesome job on the texture work on both Superman and Batman. I think that the poses look fantastic. I love the way Batman's posed here. You know, it's very iconic. I like how the cape is flowing, very dynamic. I love that the cape is sculpted on Batman. I feel that the portrait is close to Jim Lee, but I wouldn't say that it's identical to Jim Lee's art style. But it's close. Man, that so, detail though on that suit. The detail is awesome. I don't want to beat up on this too much, but I feel like I, I, I like it a lot. There's a lot that I love, I love about this piece. Mm -hmm. um, the portrait, I wouldn't say is bad. I just wouldn't say that it's identical to Jim Lee. So, you know, that that's, that's something to say about it. But other than that, I think everything else about this thing is awesome. Superman, also extremely awesome piece. One of my favorite poses that I've seen for Superman. It looks very powerful. It looks huge, you know. Now, people are saying... That tiny the head. head, yeah, tiny head. I kind of agree a little bit. I would say that if it was just a touch bigger, it would fit a little bit better. But it, it doesn't really look that bad, you know. I, I think that the, that I could live with that because Superman looks like he could kick some serious ass. So the only thing that I don't like about the statue is I think that that cape. I'm pretty sure that cape is is an opposable cloth cape, and I really, really, really do not like oh. the cloth capes. <laughs> I really don't like them. I had a, a Batgirl statue Tell with the cloth cape. Tell me how you feel, bro. Tell me how and you feel. I could, I, I'm just not a poser, bro. I can't pose things. That's why I don't collect hot toys too much. It's because I don't do a good job of posing the characters. Hey, I don't know, but some of those poses, if you could pose some things, they look That's what I'm saying. Cool, it's an man. art. It's an yeah. art. I'm not saying that it's not. The guys that could do it. Some of those guys that do the pictures and everything. I think, that they, I think that somebody should have a job as a poser. Yeah. I think they should. I will hire the dude to come over here and he can pose my hot toys. That's hilarious. You know? Yeah, Eric. Eric Rodriguez, bro. There you go. We'll get Eric to do that. He'll come over. He'll pose my hot toys when I get them. Because mm -hmm. I am not that good at that. So that's why I buy statues. You pose that stuff for me. You know, it, I could sculpt a pose just fine. Mm -hmm. I just cannot pose these things. So I'm about to do a review on that. Uh, what was that? The Captain Phasma hot toys. And I'm going to have to play with it and pose with it. i got to read the instructions and figure out how to do this. Bring Eric over. He'll help you. Yeah, yeah that's what I do that's for that. A, that's an in-house uh, hot toys yeah. expert. There you go. So the base on this one, what I like about it is that this base here rotates. So yeah. you can have this thing aiming forward so you can see the statues I, in the front. Or you can I mean, have the back with the Superman. It's huge, but I like it. No, I love it. This is a one-third scale, so it's going to be big. Mm -hmm. So there's no doubt. There's no getting around it being big. But I like that you can spin this thing around. The veins on the bottom are a callback to the comic book. In, this, in the series when Superman was shown uh, coming into it, he was being controlled by Poison Ivy. So that's why you see the veins on, on the... On the base there, which I think is really cool. I think they did a good job with that. Really love the Superman logo there. It's awesome. So Marcus was saying that per Kelvin from Prime One, mm -hmm. that the reason why the 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 cape on Superman would have to be cloth is because it would be too heavy yeah. to keep the statue upright. Yeah, I, I understand the reasoning. I'm not saying that I don't understand that. I, I it, it doesn't yeah, look I, bad. I you know the way they have the pose looks amazing. I'm just telling you that I can't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So when I get my cape, it's going to look like crap. So, you know, again, you know, I, I'm not saying that it's bad. You know, for those of you guys who like cloth capes, I'm not knocking you guys down. I just, I don't like cloth capes. I think what they did with the pose on, on this one here at the convention is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, to me, I love that Superman. You know, and I'm, Superman's not my favorite character. No, yeah. I love that Superman. <laughs> so I really, I mean, we were looking at this the other day, me, Josh, and, and, and Seth, and we like the Batman, but... We're more leaning towards the Superman, and I, you know, we're all—all all of us are like, why don't we all pitch together and buy this together, and we'll just take and share it. We'll pass take, it around. Take it to the office. Yeah, is I know that thing's gonna be crazy expensive. So, very cool though. He's huge. He's huge, and I like what they did with the hair. You know, they got the whole. I got the little swiggle. Yeah, you know, the whole Superman Remake. iconic look. Christopher Reeve style. Yeah, and, and look at the texture work on the skin, man. It looks realistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's no, definitely that a nice touch. Again, though, the same thing with Batman. It's not really Jim Lee style looking face, mm -hmm. you know? So, 
you know, on that, I would say that that's not as good because if you're looking for Jim Lee pieces, this really doesn't look like the face, but it doesn't look bad. I think it looks fantastic. And they did a great job with the post and, and with, the, with the portrait. Just looks amazing. Good work. This one here is my favorite one from Prime One right now. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the Batman New 52. A lot of people hate on the New 52 series. I read the Court of the Owls, and again, that was another one of these series that I just really dug. Um, and, you know, the the pose on this one is awesome. You know, they have him jumping in the air, ready to shoot his grappling hook. You know, it looks amazingly dynamic. This is fantastic work here. Quarter scale, which is up my alley. It means it'll fit in my collection, so I think that looks uh, good. Mm-hmm. You know, very nice texture work on the suit. I like how they have a combination there, just like in the comics. You know, have a little bit of texture in the smooth areas. makes things pop. You know, they did a great job. The gargoyles look like stone. So I think that's fantastic. It's just, it's a great piece, man. So they fit real well with the new 52. I think this one is like the second most dynamic pose they got. I think the other one that's really awesome is the Flash that they have in this series. I think those are pretty cool. And, and the Green Lantern. That's another one that came out real nice. So really cool. And this is Dead Man. And this one, it was sculpted by Lee Ber- Beher- Behermo. I, I, let me look at that name real quick before I before I destroy his name because I, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. So this is when I first saw this, I was like, "Yo, is that Daredevil?" Because I thought I saw the no, D, no. And it has like a, a variation of Daredevil from another storyline. Lee Be- Behermo, I think is how you pronounce his name. I, mm-hmm. I'm no, I'm pronouncing. I know his first name is Lee, though. I think this is an amazing piece. This is part of the DC characters, so very nice texture work that they did throughout the the suit. Very cool. Mm. No, it's very nice. Yeah, he's big though, man. Like he looks a lot bigger than than the Batman uh, Noel here. Now Batman Noel is a big piece, so I can't imagine how big this thing is. Um, very cool stuff though. Look at the artwork that is based on here. Very very nice. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know too much of it, so I don't have too much of an opinion on it other than. Definitely I don't really know too much about the character himself. Also, I didn't read his comics that much. I know he was, he has, a, I think he was a, a, a carnival, a carnival uh, uh, performer, and then he was he was killed, and uh, he now comes back, and he's I know he's that kind of jovial type of character too. At least what I remember from the series that I saw. So, yeah, but you know, overall, I, th- I think it's a, it's a really nice piece, man. They did a good job on that. Plus, I like that they're coming out with something new and original I always like seeing something different so very cool now, this is from Kotobukiya this one is called the Batman Gotham by Gaslight Fire long name <laughs> uh, I, I dig it it's, you know it's pretty cool I like the the stylized look of it so not too bad yeah you yeah. know this one is part of the Resident Evil series this one here is Chris Redfield you know it looks cool Resident Evil? Yeah. Yeah. So, very nice stuff. You see all the blood there on the bottom. I think they did a nice job on the details with this guy. Very cool. And then, this one's also from Resident Evil. This is uh, Leon. So. Which movies? These are movies. It's based on the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, cool stuff. And this one, man. I don't know about this one. This one is a, is the Red Hood from from Kotobukiya. Um, eh. Looks like he's like posing for a photo shoot or something. I don't know. I'm not really digging this one at all. <laughs> he's model pose, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> not with that. You know. You know. I want my superheroes to look like superheroes. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Yeah, he's too smooth for you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Smooth criminal. All right. Cool customs. Woo. I haven't done cool customs in a while. Yeah, I've been waiting for this. Wolverine versus the Ninjas. This was sculpted by Franco Carcimo. I think this thing is amazing. They did a great job on this piece. I really, really like how he's got the blades going through this ninja's head. This is gory, man. This is some really cool stuff, man. You know, very, very awesome piece. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, all no, that blood. This, this is nuts, bro. I love all those yeah. those arrows in him and just the blood everywhere on his suit. Mm-hmm. That is sick. Yeah. You know, Wolverine looks like a total badass here. Really, really like this piece. Man, look at look at that guy with the claws in his in his uh, head. No, not his head, but it's like shoulder, bro. Like that one on the right. Oh wow! Yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah, dude, that's yeah. sick. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's crazy. 
Yeah, and here you got the blades in both the heads of these guys. Look at that. That is. Yeah, this is a bloody scene. Who made man. this again? Franco Carcino. Wow. This guy makes some really cool stuff. You know, he Seriously? remember the Nightcrawler we saw? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's the same guy. Good job, yeah. Franco. This guy is awesome. Shoot. Yeah. And David, thank you. This is amazing. Yeah. Love this piece, man. Yeah. You know, I'm always up for Wolverine pieces. Wolverine's they, like, get they, this. <laughs> never have enough Wolverine. Wow. Um, very cool stuff. And more Wolverine. So this is a one-to-one -one scale bust. This is the most realistic looking sculpt I've ever seen in my dang life, man. So the sculpt is actually done out of silicone. This is not a resin piece. This thing is amazing. I mean, the hair looks so realistic. Yeah. You know? It's like that's, you got, not, that's not right. Hair? That's that's sculpt? No, that's not sculpt. That's hair. Oh. Oh, look at you. I thought you don't like all that. Yeah, but when it's done like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is an expensive ass piece though, man. This yeah, is like three thousand dollars I heard. You so know, he, but Hugh Jackman should buy this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, I even tagged I, Hugh Jackman on this. I'm one. not conceited. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> you know, I feel like he needed to see this. He did, um, man. I mean wow. it it's so realistic, man. This is, I, I definitely I would love to have it, but at the same time, I don't think I would want it because it's too realistic. Which one would this be from? The I, I don't know which one this is from exactly. This could be from any one of the Wolverine movies. Um, could be the... I mean, it's not that short there. It's right? shorter. It's not, it's not short enough to be the, the Wolverine movie. It could no, be the definitely. Origins movie. It's you know? not Origins. His hair is longer than that one. Hair is longer than Origins? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I don't know which one exactly it is, but... It might be the most recent one, but it's here at the... The texture gray. work in the skin... I mean, it's amazing. Queen Studio did this one. This thing is just, it's just amazing, man. Yeah, There's nothing else I can say about it. I, people were complaining about the, what this thing was going to cost. You know, and I, I've seen some extremely expensive statues at my wife's uh, um, gallery that she worked at. Mm -hmm. One of them done out of silicone and the same thing. They did the actual hairs in this guy's arm. You know, they put each, and I watched the process too. They sit there and they poke each hair into the skin. I mean, talk about tedious. That is some tedious ass shit. You sit there and you're going to take and put each individual hair in the guy's arm. Mm -hmm. That's millions of hairs. And imagine if they did that here on this guy's head. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, right. You know, it's definitely worth what they're, what they're charging for it, in my opinion. You know, it's just, I can't afford it. You know, I feel bad for you guys who are also the same thing like me. Can't afford it. What was you know, it costing it again? I think it's like $3,000. Woo. So, but beautiful piece though. You know, great work. So... And this one here was by Jorge Villa. This is the Hulk versus Venom. And this is based on the artwork of Ariel Oliva or uh, I'm about to mess up his name too, Olivetti. So I really like Olivetti's comic style. It's got a very stylized appearance to his, to his, to his uh, designs. And you know, I think that Jorge captured this thing very, very nicely. Oh yeah, the Venom versus Hulk. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, I definitely like that one. Yeah, it's a fun piece. You know, they look like they're locked together in a wrestling match. Mm -hmm. Now, the artwork didn't have this Hulkbuster helmet. And so I think he just added that in there. I don't, I don't know how that fits in. I didn't actually read this comic, so I don't know if that Hulkbuster was actually there. I like the rest of the base. I think the rest of the base is kind of neat. Definitely fits it pretty well. Without the color, I thought that was like a, it could look like an R2-D2 helmet, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, really cool stuff. like the way his teeth here are gritting and everything. Yeah, he did a good job, man. Really nice texture work on the skin. Yeah, Jorge did some good work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So, I like how Venom looks like he has like this animated smile to him. Like he's biting on his tongue. Like he had his mouth open and Hulk like need his jaw shut. You know? Oh, very neat. Very cool. Alright. And that's all we have today for the news. Okay. So. That was it. That was pretty long. It was pretty long, but we had a lot. Yeah, yeah the Tokyo Comic Con images, yeah. which you know were definitely really cool, and obviously we have more on our Facebook page and whatnot. Um, but you know, the cool customs were sick too, bro. And oh, a lot of awesome. to see. Plus, we were out for about about a week now, almost yeah. two weeks. Yeah. No, a week. We, we, yeah. we did last weekend, so you know, you know we're gonna we're gonna try to be a little well, we more. We missed last week because last weekend was your. Oh, that's your, right. Your, that's right. It was my birthday. Thanksgiving, your birthday. Yeah, so yeah. It was about two weeks since the last show. Yeah, so, I'm getting old, man. But we should, but we should get back into more of our schedule. <laughs> yeah. That should be awesome. Yeah. So, again, that's it for the news. I really appreciate you guys hanging out. We are going to do a little bit of live chat after this. So, for those of you guys who are here for the news, 
You know, remember, you can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you ever feel like chatting. We have our website now, mcecentral.com. If you ever feel like checking out more news, we have a whole bunch of stuff going on there. You know, we have a shop page there and a lot of cool stuff going on on that website. Absolutely. It's you know. growing. We're going to have, uh, it's going to be, obviously, it's going to be more than, you know, collectibles. Uh, we will have, you know, artwork there. We have a few new channels coming very, very soon. Uh, so that's going to be amazing. Um, obviously, lock, lock that into your, your, uh, favorites you know follow us all the time because we're going to be posting there all the time and and obviously sharing it on our facebook and instagram and youtube pages remember to subscribe if you like the show um anything else for that no that's about it so for all you guys who are here for the news i'll see you guys next time and for everybody here that's going to be talking on the chat what's up people how are you uh, man we had a lot of people in the chat today we did had, we uh, yeah you know we had future we had nick we had future Marcus. how you doing uh, future Calvin joined us. We Calvin. had David Zurita, uh, Agrian Montoya. Uh, shoot, man, we had Ralph, um, Spanish Heart. Nice. Lot, lots of guys to, to, uh, came to join us for today, so nice, we definitely man. appreciate it. Everyone Thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, but like I said, before we move into the chat, this is going to be over, so thank you guys for coming. And uh, for everyone who's joined the chat, I think I'm repeating my brother. He's right repeating now. himself. So, uh, he gave me the look. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did have a few things. I had a couple questions that I definitely wanted to, to go over with you. First of all, that uh, Wolverine uh, is going to be from The Wolverine. It, it definitely matches that particular movie. You think so? Yeah. Okay. I looked that one up, so there you go for that. Um, the As far as my favorite piece, since you didn't ask me that question. I was going to ask you that question, but then you know you started saying your buys again. Yeah, no. You definitely <laughs> want to go, I guess. Not at all, bro. <laughs> Man, we've been working so a lot. So what is man. your favorite piece, bro? Hey, we've been working a lot. Man. The days are kind of blending in sometimes. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought these mm-hmm. days. <laughs> um, oh, my favorite piece was the custom Wolverine killing the ninjas. Uh, that bloody, gory, oh my God. And that was amazing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm super excited to pick up the, the Battle of the Brothers. I can't wait for us to do our uh, Battle of the Brothers review by the MCE Brothers. That's going to be amazing. Uh, but um, yeah, I got to say that, that custom Wolverine hands out my favorite this week that is awesome what about you guys what's your favorite piece mine i really i mean i am I'm, I'm kind of like beside myself i think it's because we've only been we've been gone two weeks i didn't realize we we're gone two weeks so i get to pick two right okay. pick two. two weeks two birthday two, anyways two, so, ahead, pick two. Two. so first one that i like was the figurama the trigon statue i think looks fantastic really love that piece and then the second one i have to agree with you is the that wolverine you know the with the ninjas i think is dope so really dug that yeah. The, what was your second one? The uh, the the one you like, the Wolverine with the with the ninjas. And the first one? Oh, uh, the Trigon. The Trigon. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think okay. the Trigon was awesome. Uh, yeah. Calvin liked the Batman Ninja. Yeah. So you know, I gotta. That would probably be a second. I'd have to second that. How one. many of you guys yeah. saw the trailer, man? The trailer was awesome. I thought the thing was amazing. Should have put that on here so you guys could see it, but then they would take it down. <laughs> um. No, I don't think these were on our show this week, but uh, Future was saying his favorite was Doomsday on a Fence. Doomsday on a Fence? Yes, that's one he saw this okay. week. Uh, Spanish Art saw the... Uh, oh, these are some of these were from um, Tokyo Comic Con. So they, I know uh, Spanish Art was saying uh, Griffith and Fem- Fem- Femto. Oh, that was yeah. good. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. Pieces. That wasn't um, that bad. Marcus, uh, uh, liking that, that uh, Superman. Yeah. That's um, a nice piece. Did I have a question? The cow. Cal- I want to know about the scale on that that golem. Golem, one third. One third. Okay. Yeah, one third. Now it, it said that it was. Um, they gave the measurements in millimeters. So, they said that it was. Um, the heck is that golem? Here he is. Uh, four four hundred millimeters tall. Is what they said. The heck is four hundred millimeters tall? Yeah. <laughs> Convert that. Let's Convert see. it, man. I'm, I'm American. American. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a crude American. We do inches. <laughs> inches. Uh, 15 inches. 15 inches. Almost 16. Yeah, see, I don't feel like it was that small. I saw this thing at San Diego Comic Con. That thing was huge. Mm. That, thing, that thing was bigger than 15 inches. Well, there you go. That no was way. 15, it was 15.7 inches, so almost 16. No. That one, thing was bigger than that. One full inch. Trust me, bro. One more inch is all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said, right? Hey, that's what she said. <laughs> Yeah, no, man. When I saw that thing in person, that thing had to have been at least 23, 27 inches. That thing was big. I think that thing had some size to it. Yeah, David uh, saying the Bat- the Hush Batman and uh, Superman. 
that that was one of his was nice. and that Wolverine diorama is also so thank you for seconding that seconding the Wolverine dia that was definitely amazing yeah those are some nice pieces man very cool uh, Ralph did Ralph did like the trigon as well that was actually I like it I don't know too much I don't remember too much about that show but I think that is it was cool. an anime back when I was when I was this was like I, mean, I know I said when I was growing up but I think it was like right to the end of high school a little mm-hmm. bit toward, towards the end of high school uh, I was like all into anime and I, I kind of still am to some degree but I mean the, I was really really into anime it's like all I would watch was anime. anime cartoons so I even had like a samurai sword and all I would eat was like Chinese food and Japanese food and I mean I was like going I was turning Japanese so I, I I I used to watch Trigon and you know and I, I just I love that show. I had the little twelve inch figure mm. and I used to keep that up on my shelf. Mm-hmm. I had all that until a girl came over and she made me feel bad about having so many weapons in my house. I had like samurai swords. I had um, I had a, a Lord of the Rings sword. I mean, yeah, she came over and she thought I was preparing for like the zombie apocalypse or something. He even had a um, a marble. Marble chessboard, all sculpted with the uh, uh, samurai pieces and whatnot, which I got now. So, haha! Hey, thank you very yeah. much. Um, yeah, that was cool. He was definitely into that. Yes, definitely. Yeah, but you know, I used to watch all that, and and that was that was the the anime that I was into the most. And then when I saw that they they were coming out with that, I was like, wow, man, very yeah. cool. Bad timing for me though, but you know, cool though. The uh, also David wanted to know about um, whatever happened with the the. Uh, Green, the one third green goblin. I think it's by. Um, I forget who it's by. It's a one third green goblin by David. Help me out with that. Who is the the green goblin made by? The green goblin one third. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see if I can find his post. Um, outside of that, the future also will know what we thought about the fu- the Blitzway Ecto. Dude, that thing's awesome. I saw that at, at, at Comic Con. Awesome. That thing looks. That thing's to the T. And look, that looks just like I mean, Blitzway does some amazing work with making their their stuff look just like the movie uh, counterparts. That Ecto One looks fantastic. Mm-hmm. You know, if they didn't sell out all of the Ghostbusters, I would definitely want to get all that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that would be cool. It's big yeah. though. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that that would be nice. That would be nice. I forget. He but it's the back. scale. You can actually put the figures inside of the car. I mean, that thing is nice. So and all the working lights and everything. I mean, shoot. That is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Yeah, man. What's your favorite Blitzway, George? Uh, favorite Blitzway. That's hard to say, man. They all look really nice. I uh, I, I kind of like that that uh, Sharon Stone one. Mm, yeah, it was Sharon Stone. Yeah, that thing's nice, man. But then I also like the Hannibal Lecter. You know, they did a good job with the Hannibal Lecter, too. So, and Blitzway, Blitzway does some good stuff. It's a sleeper company, man. Not too many people talk about them, but they, they're really good. Imaginarium Arts was the, was the Green Goblin. I don't know. You know, it came out, I guess, some time ago, and they haven't heard much since. I, you know, I, I know Imaginary Arts has had some some bad rap lately, and I and and honestly, I thought that the company had had gone out of uh, business uh, at the earlier part of this year. I didn't even think that they were still around until I started, uh, you know, paying attention to the Transformers lines. Um, so not not really following or, or or know about the Green Goblin. So Nick thought the Lord of the Ring Go- Goblin was supposed to be a core scale. No, no, it's one third scale according to their their website. I think it's Lord of the Rings, L O T R. I think that's Lord of Lord the of Rings. Lord of the Rings, yeah. And Ralph wanted to know how you felt about the Batman Ninja base. I like it, man. I mean, I think it looks a lot like the the uh, the base from from the the XM Studios. It they very similar ideas, you know, the Batman Samurai, and then you got the Batman uh, Ninja, and then I think even in the cartoon he dons samurai armor. So that's kind of like, man, you're really taking that, but. The what I like better about the base is the color in it, you know. Yeah. Sims just joined us too, so hey, Sims, Sims. came right at the end, right at the end, <laughs> catching us for the, the end of the chats. And <laughs> by the way, I want you all to give my brother some shit. All right, the reason why is because he brought home this, you know, this got this custom salsa right next to us, and I went to go to touch. And he's like, no, don't touch it. That's it. You can only look. You can only look. Like he did. Hey, he wouldn't let me touch it. He wouldn't let me touch I it. Definitely wouldn't let him touch <laughs> it. <laughs> definitely yeah. a cool statue. Really happy to get that one in. Oh man, I'm excited about that one. You got the unboxing done. You got the re- when's the review coming? Uh, hopefully this week. You know, I got some other things I got to take care of first. We got to do that that Hot Toys uh, review. I want to get that out. And you guys can can see the Captain Phasma that we're giving away. Oh yeah, we got that. Yeah, yeah we definitely want to get out uh, some reviews of the, some of the giveaways. I know yeah. the giveaways are um, we got almost a little over a week left on on the entry deadline. So definitely, guys, you know, tell your friends, tell whoever else. A couple weeks, know, right? 
18th. It's only a well, the ninth is, is coming two Saturday, weeks. like two yeah, weeks. Right, two yeah, weeks. we got like two weeks on that. So you know, if you guys weeks. haven't haven't signed up to those contests, you know, do it. We have uh, first for figures, um, nightmare from mm -hmm. Soul Calibur Two. Got Soul Calibur Amazing. Two. That one yeah. is a uh, artist proof. Yes, sir. So first for figures, love those guys. Let's yeah. definitely you know join their groups and cool follow stuff. them. Um, and then we have the Captain Phasma. Yes, by Hot Toys. You know, very awesome piece. I, I opened that up uh, to check it out. Really impressed by that. You know, that that's. I, I definitely was on the fence with the guys that were probably calling Hot Toys dolls, but and my friends making fun of me that I'm going to be on video playing with a Barbie doll that's dressed in Star Wars armor. But uh, you know, I, I think that the detail in that in that figure is really nice. We also have uh, a uh, Iron Patriot that was given to us by Statue Fanatic Calvin. You know, he's up here on the chat. Gotta yeah, give that guys. guy a big thanks to him. Thanks, Calvin. I you know, really appreciate that one. So we want to take a look at that. And the last piece we have is the Kotobukiya, right? Uh, the Kotobukiya um, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Spider -Man big up Miles Toys Morales. held us down with that. Uh, yeah, I think, so Sci cool. and obviously big up to Sideshow because they're the ones that helped uh, donated the um, Captain Phasma. The Captain Phasma and the Big Bad Toy Store was the other one. Um, and we also have the, for you pop heads, we got the Emma Frost. Uh, with that one we released this past right. week. We have a couple uh, more, no? Uh, we haven't released any more. Um, okay. So those are, I know we have five out at the moment. Um, you know, so... <laughs> spoiler. So, yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, so guys, definitely uh, make sure you, you keep up with that. Um, you can obviously find it on our, our uh, website, mcecentral.com. Yep. Uh, outside of that, Future wanted to know why you didn't bring up the Silver Surfer. Which Silver Surfer? By Peter, Peter Tavich's. Have you really? seen that? That's uh, Extreme Sculptures. Extreme Sculptures. Did you see that? Got another, yeah, that's a nice Silver Surfer piece, actually. Ooh. I didn't get permission yet. You know, so, when, when I take and, and, uh, and go show these things, I always contact the uh, commissioners, and I want to make sure that they allow me to show them. It's because, you know, a lot of times these guys want to keep things under wraps a little bit. So, you know, I, I'll get – once I get approval, I'll, I'll bring it up. Maybe next episode we'll talk about that one. Right. That's a nice piece, though. I'd have to say of the designs for Silver Surfer that I've seen lately, and I know the Bushi Collector one is classic, really hard to beat that one. Mm. Uh, this one here that's coming out is very, very nice. That one is uh, definitely a, uh, a contender. And um, the other one from Ithaca is really cool too. I know the Ithaca one's huge though. So. Spanish Heart was also mentioning that uh, Hot Toys Vader Empire Strikes Back that just came out last week, I think. That came out last week, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's a cool piece too. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Especially if you have the the loop to go with it, or I yeah. think that would be pretty nice. Nah, they did a good job with that one too. They have all the poses going on with it. Yeah, really nice. You know, we we like to talk about everything, but I mean, there's so much stuff, especially when you're out two weeks. Yeah, right. I could have been here for a couple hours talking about that. And absolutely. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. But um, you know, we keep we keep up with what we can, obviously. But you can definitely find everything on obviously on our site. You can find them on our on our Facebook pages. We definitely. You know, keep up our post and or do a, a reviews that we do on on the statues we see or the figures we see um, but uh, you know I think guys it's about that time uh, so as always you know we had a lot of fun with you guys uh, appreciate you guys hanging around for the chat for a bit um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut this cut this uh, now so we can get back to work on on the site and uh, make sure everything's up and ready for the holiday show remember that's uh, 1223. Uh, December 23rd and uh, anything else George no that's about it so guys again thanks for hanging out with us really appreciate it man it was fun talking to y'all and until next time I'll see you then